Contrary to that highly publicized prediction, the world did not end over the weekend, which means a number of preachers who live like rock stars will get to continue living the good life. How good? Here's Lisa Guerrero and the I-Squad with a look at some who've been preaching prosperity who are living large. Fresh wind! Fresh! They are some of the most popular TV preachers in the country. We're family here! They urge the faithful followers to donate generously and in return, the Lord will bring them prosperity. I'm not going to be going to heaven and be broke when I get there. And there's no denying some people have prospered handsomely. Wow! The yeah, pastors themselves. The they live like rock stars with huge mansions, private jets, and fancy cars. Their lifestyles are so lavish, six of them have been investigated by the U.S. Senate. Like Paula White, who lives in multi-million dollar homes in New York City and Tampa, Florida. And Creflo Dollar, he gets around in style, flying in private jets to preach around the country. He owns this mansion in an exclusive Atlanta suburb. Mr. Dollar, how do you Not one of them would agree to an interview about their opulent lifestyle. How do you justify your million dollar mansions in your jets to all of your donors, sir. Oh, yeah. But when it comes to opulence, few religious leaders compare to Kenneth Copeland. You and I are supposed to always have. To show you his house, we rented this helicopter so you can see his 18,000 square foot mansion valued at over $6 million. He lives in this home outside Fort Worth, Texas. It has beautiful water views and comes complete with a boathouse. But that's not all. Copeland is an avid pilot, and here's his pride and joy, a $20 million Cessna Citation jet. It's the fastest private jet money can buy. He said he needed it to better serve the Lord, and proudly did a flyby for his followers after the church bought it. Shout out! But it's not just one plane, we found a fleet of planes registered to the church. And you won't catch him waiting in line at the airport because he's got his own, the Kenneth Copeland Airport, located right next to his mansion. I think Copeland is unbelievably greedy. Ole Anthony heads the Trinity Foundation, a religious watchdog group that worked closely with the Senate committee investigating Copeland and other TV preachers. Televangelism alone is at least a two and a half to three billion dollar industry untaxed, unregulated. That's right. By law, religious groups like Copeland's are exempt from federal taxes and they don't have to report how they spend their money to anyone. Amen. Copeland's church takes in tens of millions a year through donations and selling books and DVDs to his donors. She sent them a lot of money, a, a whole lot of money. When Christy Parker's mother died of cancer, she found diaries that showed her mother sent Copeland most of her life savings, hoping her faith and donations would cure her of her terminal disease. What do you think of Kenneth Copeland's lifestyle? TV doesn't do it justice. Their office furniture is probably worth more than most people's houses. It makes you sick. Oh my. Copeland refused our request for an interview, so we caught up with him at an event in North Carolina. Why you're living such a lifestyle of luxury off of church donations? Ma'am, I don't think we have time for this. Thank you. Thank you. Why won't you answer our questions? A hotel employee tried to prevent us from taping. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Come here. It's just a simple question, sir. Yes, and I'm going to give you a simple answer. Thank you. My lifestyle follows the scripture. We give, we believe, we're open. You have a fleet of private jets. Why is that necessary? You're a minister. How many private jets do you have? Right after that, he walked away. Although Copeland says he cooperated with the Senate investigation, the Senate committee disagreed, saying only two television preachers did, Joyce Myers and Benny Hinn. And the committee recommended that the IRS investigate further.